And welcome uh, back to the Smooth Live Show, 2021 with uh, Paul Toothpick Scurry. I'm excited about uh, this year. I'm excited about the music. I'm excited about the guest artists that we're going to have on the program. Um, and before I introduce our, our great friend from the other side of the world, um, I just want to welcome our new viewers and encourage you guys to, to subscribe, hit the bell notification uh, button there so you know what's going on. And follow, follow us on our socials at smoothjazz.melbourne. Um, we love preparing the Smooth Live show. It's our first one for 2021. Um, and uh, as we kick off uh, um, in fine style, I want to welcome um, the great man. I call him the great man here, Warren Keller from uh, Spontaneous Groove and Combustion. Now, I have to put this, this in, Warren, the fiery jazz ensemble. Mate, welcome for 2021. Great to have you here in Melbourne. Thrilled, thrilled to be back with you. It's it's awesome. Mate, what can I say? What can I say? We had such a great, we had such a blast, I think around about three months ago when we caught up on the show, <laughs> on the Smooth Live show where we talked about, um, you know, your, your single releases uh, and obviously the singles from the upcoming um, self-titled debut album, um, Spontaneous Groove and Combustion, right. which we're really excited about, and releasing Feb 5, is that right? Have, is that date correct? Absolutely. Yeah, well, fantastic, mate. Um, let me just start off, and uh, and, a, and a big thanks again for taking the time, Max. I know you had a, a pretty busy schedule. Um, let me start off by saying congratulations, man, on um, Double Juices. I mean, let, can I just read some of the, um, the chart successes on that? So number five on the Smooth Jazz uh, radar charts, number seven on the Smooth Jazz indie charts, uh, and, and the list keeps going, man. I mean, I don't know what you're doing, but you're playing, you're making great music. Uh, number 15 on the Smooth uh, Jazz album charts, and the list goes on. Congratulations. I mean, you must be really um, proud and excited about that. Thank you. It, it's pretty amazing, you know, to be at it for a little over a year and a half and to see your name up there with Colbertsons and Gerald Albright's and uh, all of our favorite artists. It's it's pretty cool. Now, of course, there's so many elements that you have to you have to sort of wiring on all cylinders, as they say, right? There's there's streaming, there's radio, and then there's TV land. Uh, you know, cable television feeds like Music Choice we have over here, at least in the in the states, and of uh, of course Spotify, Apple. So we've done really well at radio. We've had some cool successes like uh, Dave Cos played us on his Dave Cos Lounge on Sirius XM yeah. on Very a Sunday. We're also, we have three singles and regular rotation on Music Choice, which hits a lot of, hits a lot of the cable uh, and satellite TV. But uh, the streaming, we'd really like to see a big boost at, at streaming because it's important. It doesn't pay a lot, but it's, you know, it's prestige and it's growing the brand, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think you've, and, and again, it's a hats off to you, uh, Warren, with, um, you know, Spontaneous Groove and Combustion to have um, that, that that obviously exposure, but to have four singles out. And if I can just recap, Double Juices, uh, Jackie's New Car, Spy, Spy versus Spy and Kicking It, which is, you know, the exposure um, to some great sounds and and the lead up to uh, Feb 5 of your uh, self-titled debut album, which I'm sure you are absolutely excited about, um, which is going to be epic. Thank you. Yeah, we hope so. You know, I, I was thinking about uh, getting with you tonight and uh, I've been kind of in a, a, a fairly prolific period, right? So I actually have seven new ones in the can and you're like well warren let sleeping dogs lie it's like you got to be excited about the current release right that's the job to to get people to listen now because those other seven don't get released if this album doesn't do well right i i think you know your history you know your past performance uh warren you know will obviously um you know empower to dictate where you go in the future you obviously be creating some great music, and uh, I've had the op obviously the opportunity to listen to uh, these uh, seven other tracks on on this new album, which we're, we'll go to shortly. But um, really blessed and with that opportunity. But I'm telling you, mate, it's stellar, it's some stellar performance. And I'm just saying that, and for right. for new for our new viewers, and uh, hey, can I just jump to task here? Just a couple of people want to say hi to you, Warren. 
I don't know if you can see it, but uh, uh, Evan uh, Karadakis from Tassie. So our mate uh, Evan. Uh, hi, Warren O'Keller and Paul Toothpick's crew. It's a big hi to Evan. I'm just going to jump to uh, some of our comments. Thank you for joining us uh, this morning um, with Warren from Spontaneous uh, Groove and Combustion. I love the name, by the way. Um, Heidi Tan says hi. Hello, Heidi, and hi, you guys, and hi, Warren. So thanks, Heidi. Really excited. Um, how, yeah, look, it's just amazing uh, the opportunity to be able to, for me, Warren, you know, Smooth Live Show was about get, getting personal, up close and personal, having conversation um, with with the artist and, and with, you know, you. Uh, I was really excited to be able to come back this year in 2021 and be part of this release. Now, my first, uh, I got come back to on, on radio again, Feb 5, actually, um, on uh, Northwest FM which is the Smooth um, Friday live radio show. And I'm really excited about being able to also, you know, play music um, here in our, our, our Melbourne exposure um, on the Smooth, you know, Smooth Jazz show. But um, you mentioned to me a little little earlier, Warren, about uh, there's so many songs. You, 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 you're you way ahead in your planning. I mean, so you've got this uh, the self-titled album, Spontan Spontaneous Groove and Combustion. What's going on in your mind? <laughs> What's happening? You just you 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 know you're printing. You're sort of like printing this wonderful music. I don't know. You know, I think back to earlier days as a you know a younger guy doing the rock and roll thing in the twenties, but particularly doing the Nashville, you know, modern country thing in my in my thirties. That was a almost a manic time, right? That type of songwriting. It's all about bells and whistles going off, right? Somebody yeah. says something. I remember once sitting in my publisher, publisher's office and a couple of writers were sitting around and one of the people said, uh, you know, I got some things praying on my mind. And I'm like, praying on my mind, praying, you know, like those double entendres. Are, and it drives you crazy, right? It, it's, it's kind, again, kind of a manic writer connectivity. You're always looking for these hooks and these clips. And thank goodness I'm not there anymore. And honestly, uh, the process for creating instrumental music is so very different, at least for me. It, it doesn't have that, again, that, that kind of crazy quality to it. So uh, on the other side, I don't feel like I'm all that prolific. Uh, but as you said, boy, amazing that I you know, have an additional seven new ones in addition to the seven uh, on the album with the four radio singles that you mentioned. So that's great. I mean, I'll take it as it comes. They're all gifts. Um, some of them, some of them are, are as, uh, you know, simple as, oh, I want to write something funky today. Let me sit down and let me see what I can come up with. And that's kind of a scary way to work because you, if you're me, you know, you get this really good track developed, right? Like the rhythm section sounds really cool. And if you're like me, I really like production. So I tend to go deep into production. And then it's like, I have no idea what the melody of this thing is going to be. I have no idea for a hook whatsoever. And so that's just a, like, say, a little scary process of just listening, listening, trying different things, and finally coming up with something. Then there's the other stuff, which is more inspired, right? Like you stumble on a little lick when you're practicing and you go, oh, yeah. there's a tune in this one. And, and those are easier to build, right? Because at least you've got that riff, that hook uh, on which it'll be based. But yeah, uh, they're coming. Uh, but every time I finish one, I think that's it. <laughs> the, the flow has is going to stop. It's, it's going to stop. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's, it's a fear. I think any creator would probably have that that kind of fear, like it's just going to, you know, stalemate or whatever. Yeah. Well, I guess, um, you know, chatting with artists uh, last year and, and getting to know getting to know you a little bit better as well right. as, you know, other people, um, the artists always talk about that advanced, you know, sort of business of, of creation, you know, so it's not just even though we've got something that we're working on today, well, I'm playing what's what's today, but I'm also playing on my radio show what's what's classically what I remember 10 years ago or, you know, a song set that really touched the heart and that I know that the audience are looking for, but um, staying close to, uh, to what is relevant today as well, which is, you know, your music. But uh, the artists always talk about, you know, um, it continued to build and create that business of, of making music. So I, I think it, we'd expect that with the release of this new album that you've got 
what's looking for the end of 2021 or what's for 2022 you know what are you creating to you know in, in advance um strategically um yeah so i mean that's really cool so um self-titled album if i could just bring this up for our audiences here have a look at that congratulations um the release date feb 5 spontaneous group and combustion it's yours uh i'm I'm excited, and I'm sure you're excited. Now, the, the the first release single for the album is going to be When the Stars Go Blue. Tell us a little bit about that, Warren. You know, it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, when the Stars Go Blue was written by uh, Ryan Adams, uh, who I'm not particularly familiar with. I guess he was kind of an Americana uh, light rock, uh, folkster kind of guy was in a band called whiskey town. That kind of sounds familiar to me, but during my Nashville country days, it, they didn't really cross over at all. Uh, and I would hear this song and it was probably the Tim McGraw version. I would, you know, it was one of those tunes for me, at least where it's blah, 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 blah. You're not really paying much attention. And all of a sudden that, that pre-chorus hits and then the chorus you know, when, when the stars yeah. go blue and it kind of slaps you in the face and you go, what is that song? And that happened several times to me. I remember the last time it happened, I was literally doing a, uh, a smooth jazz gig, you know, solo playing to tracks at a club. And that was playing on the PA just as I was getting up to go do another set pre COVID yeah. of course. Right. And, oh, yeah. and that time, again, it was like, what is that song? I love that chorus. So I finally went home, looked it up, saw that it was, you know, Tim McGraw. And he had had a pretty big hit, much nicer version, I think, than the uh, the Ryan Adams version. And I just kind of, just one of those things you put in your back pocket or whatever and say, you know, I think that would make a tremendous contemporary jazz instrumental. I'm, I'm going to do that. And uh, it wound up to be the single. I mean, honestly, I'm too chicken hearted to pick the singles. So I rely on uh, the input of uh, like Sandy Shore at smoothjazz.com as a brander and also my record promoter, Adam Leibowitz at ASL. Mm. And Sandy actually picked a another one on the record uh, the wind whispers and the wind whispers has, has been number like one and two every time we've picked a single cause it's older. It's one of the first things I did. So every time it was like, there was like kicking it or the wind whispers, uh, spy versus spy or the wind whispers. And it came down to that again, but Adam really felt like when the stars go blue had, he called it anthemic kind of melody. And it does, it has a very strong, a singable melody, whereas The Wind Whispers is the opposite. It's very light and airy and likable, but it's it's almost like a call and response kind of thing. And it's not like that that strong singable melody kind of a thing. So for better or worse, for good or ba bad, we went with uh, When the Stars Go Blue. And it's actually, lyrically, it's a rather dark uh, lyric. And uh, you can see you can see in the Tim McGraw video that they they changed a couple of lyrics to kind of stay away from that that darker side. And of course, as an instrumental, you don't think about it. You just think about a beautiful melody. Right. So that's it. That's the single. Yeah, absolutely. And Warren, and I note that uh, you take um, I hear the, the saxophone and, and obviously the woodwind instrumentals, uh, the, the instruments you use that quite pro so it's really um uh, showcasing your your style and your ability to um you know play your sounds uh through those couple of tracks there yep um yeah again you know this is a genre just rife with phenomenal players on all instruments yeah. Amazing. And as a saxophonist, I'm only too aware of the Gerald Albrights and Richard Elliotts and just tremendous players, you know, and I, you know, I, I, to be fair to myself, I've always had a really good sound. I've got soul and I've got swing and musicality, but I just not at that level uh, of some of these phenomenal uh, players. So um, hopefully in the simplicity and, but, 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 um, 
but catchiness of the tunes and the the rest of the crafting and production of the tunes with a lot of different instruments mixed in there, um, it works. And I probably said to you last time, I just didn't want to go out as number 1,000 good saxophonists. I, I really liked the idea, sort of a, um, uh, their name's escaping me again, um, da uh, down to the bone. From the UK, right? That yep. I like so much uh, from the beginning. You know, he his work really struck me, and I think that he's kind of a solo producer mm -hmm. that you know surrounds himself with uh, with session people. And when he could go out and play live, uh, he would have a U.S. band and a U.K. band, and so yeah. that would be the dream to be able to do that at some point. Wow, absolutely. You um talk talk to us about the momentum, uh, Warren, um, of putting this album together. I mean, what is it, you know, what does 11, song, 11 tracks mean? Uh, you know, Spontaneous Groove and Combustion says, this is what my mix is going to be. You know, wh wh what's your thinking around that? Well, I, you know, I'm not going to say to anybody out there to take lessons from my strategy, right? Because I'm pretty I'm new at this particular genre. And, um, but but I do have, again, the advice of uh, Adam, who's also A&R at Intervision yeah. Records and Sandy, who's so plugged in. So I've got a lot of good uh, input. Wow. Frankly, frankly, this record, um, it wasn't so much about strategy. It was, you know, you've put out four fairly successful singles, and really now it's time, I don't want to say put up or shut up, but now it's time to deliver an album. So naturally, you'd want to include those those tunes. By the way, Kicking It is actually remastered, so it sounds... A little bit better because it was the oh. first one out of the pocket that had been uh, that had been done, and and all of the other tunes. Let's see, I've actually got the list in front of me because I need it. Uh, Soul Stirrer is is quite new. Um, maybe next time is quite new, mm -hmm. but I would say everything. And and when the stars go blue is new. The other mm -hmm. ones, the wind whispers, Tribeca. Um, Road to Redemption, yep. uh, Guaruja, they're, they're a bit older. And when I say older, you know, 2019, late 2018. So it was really a matter of accumulating these tunes, feeling that they were strong enough to go on and yep. then packaging them as an album. You know, in retrospect, like I say, I've got some new things that I'm really jazzed about. And so had I had the luxury of having all of that amassed, Maybe the mix would have been different, but you know we think it's a pretty good lineup on this album, and it's really great to hear positive feedback from you. I did a, a U.S. interview the other day, and 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 she, Annie, uh, Latin Jazzy yeah. Rodriguez, yeah. Annie was real. Annie was really pumped about it, and yeah. I have a broadcaster at Wave in uh, in Ontario, Canada, uh, Stu. Um, I don't think of his name, but he he didn't hear everything, but he really liked the single. So that's that feels real good because, again, as a creator, you think it's good, but you don't know until you start getting feedback, right? Absolutely, hundred percent. No, I mean, I again re really honored to um, have the opportunity to listen to it prior to um, doing the show today, and uh, there's definitely some standouts there and. Can I talk a little? So, uh, when the stars go blues, the, the release single. So, if you just joined us on the Smooth Live Show, my name is Paul Toothpick Scurry. I'm the host of the program Smooth Jazz in Melbourne, um, and also um, for uh, the Smooth Friday Live Radio Show, uh, which you, you can hear it on uh, on Australian radio and actually nationally and globally through um, all the online platforms. Um, to uh, for for the program there, but we're really excited to have Warren. Um, a color from spontaneous group and combustion whose whose de self-titled debut album is on release uh this coming february the 5th so we're looking forward to that and uh, it's going to be massive uh talk to me um interesting name road to redemption um, I, I, I just thought you know i'm going to uh, challenge you on that one when you <laughs> want to have a chance to have a chat here um and also i want you to talk to me about garuja so uh or, or talk to our audience you know um to tell us a little bit about uh, the both uh, tracks. It was it was funny because Annie, you know, she asked me about naming tunes, and I, and I don't remember if you and I got into it last time, but you kind of want to hear some metaphysical, mystical, 
amazing um, explanation for how yeah. some of the tunes well, get named, right? Exactly. <laughs> and if we did talk about it, forgive me, but I'll just remind you that as a lyricist and a songwriter, as opposed to an instrumental tunesmith, words were my life. But once I started in this genre, it was like, how do you name these tunes? It's like they're instrumentals, you know, it's like I didn't want to give them the wrong name or a bad name. So I really had like a log jam. And I asked uh, an old uh, fan of my first band, Harper, back on the Jersey Shore. He, I knew he was a big smooth fan, went on the cruises and whatnot. I'm like, I'm like, Jeff, listen to a couple of these and see if you can come up with names. Well, he didn't do so great, but but yeah. that was sort of the opening of the floodgate for me. And I'm like, oh, this one's called <laughs> this, you know, and, and now it's now it's fun. I mean, I'll keep a list of cool titles and then kind of assign them to things that sound about right. Guarujo was kind of easy because it's a classic bossa. It's a bossa nova. And when you think bossa nova, you think Brazil. And when you think Brazil, you think the beach. And so I went looking on a map. Or at least an online virtual map and said, Oh, Guarujo, yeah. <laughs> that's got a nice ring to it. So that's the answer for that one. Road to Redemption. I just remember it sounding a bit like um, there's a great track by, um, you know, I do this all the time. Not, I, I confuse the two. There's Yellow Jackets and there's the Rippingtons. There, there's a great Rippingtons tune that's got this real American Southwest kind of feel to it. Awesome. And and Road to Redemption just kind of felt a little rockish influence, but with a Southwestern kind of guitar twang thing to it. I'm not sure where that Road to Redemption came from. Obviously, I like uh, alliteration, right? R's and RR yeah. and SS. Uh, that's about as, as good as I can come to that one. Yeah, I think you. I think you've picked well, mate. And, I, and now you've let out. You know, told us about the strategy of choosing songs. And and I think you know, like I'm mean, a lot of artists are, are, are very much on the same, um, you know, line of of strategy. You know, the way you pick it and the way you choose it. Um, maybe next time, which is the other track on on the album of the the, the next seventh and uh, Soul Stirrer. So again, I'm sure that there's the, the same sort of process for these two as well. Yeah, they're they're both a little different, right? They they both kind of come from maybe a similar place, but a little bit different than some of the other stuff we've done. There's definitely big funk element for me, right? Love love funky stuff, but yeah. but those are a little bit more synth driven, synth bass, and um, a little bit more maybe urban kind of a thing. Do you like to? Do you roll up to um, uh, press those boundaries, Warren? You know, with the bit the, the synth and that real sort of fun, funk out there, um, is that just the exploration of something amazing, like just different, challenging? You know, as you and I, I'm sure talked about last time. I was a, you know, I've loved every genre that I've ever worked in, right? And 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 right. and loved what I worked in at the. Um, for for any given moment, it was where I wanted to be, right? So if it was rock and roll and I was singing, or if it was, again, modern country, I loved the lyricism of that. And this now is my beloved genre that I want to work in. But, you know, again, I'm not your conservatory trained um jazz musician right there's yeah. as much rock and funk and disco yeah. and r and b and blues and pop in me so mm -hmm. i'm going to i'm going to come to it from a little bit different place and melody is always king for me right hopefully you just i don't i'll appreciate a jam i'll love the playing but i'll come away saying well that was a pretty much a jam you know there's not that that hook that i can hold on to for later so I don't want to do things that don't have that quality, that aren't, that don't have that catchy, memorable quality. And it's not like I'm trying to be edgy. It's just that's who I am. I'm such a conglomerate of such different styles. And I certainly value originality greatly. And I don't want to be one of those copycats of the latest Vincent Ngala lick, which a lot of people <laughs> seem to <laughs> riff on, you know? Yeah. 
Correct. Correct. You're putting your stamp on on who you are, you know, as a performer, as an artist, you know, um, as a lyricist or a writer. Um, you know, that's how I when I think of you know Warren Warren Keller from Spontaneous Groove and Combustion, I know there's a sound, there's an image, and there's there's a there's a style, you know. And I think that's the same same with everyone. But you can get caught in that uh, you know uh, one artist or you know um, sort of style across the board. But um, this is you um, in your, and I, I love it, absolutely lovely. Tribeca, just talk to us a little bit about, uh, that's your that's number six on the album, or the number six of the new, of, of the remaining seven. Tribeca, for those who don't know, is a kind of a hip part of Manhattan, of New York City, but that's not where the name came from. Uh, there's a very subtle little triangle in there. You know, I love that little hip hoppy triangle thing. Yeah, and that yeah. tri angle became Tribeca. And that, that's cool. I like that one a lot. Nice. Very nice. Uh, you've uh, quite strategically, it's beautifully put together, uh, Warren. Um, so the, the, the new release album, self titled debut album, come released for uh, Feb 5, is the Spontaneous Groove and Combustion. I'm excited about it. Um, I, if if it's okay with you, mate, I'd love to play um, your the the release ad uh, when the stars go blue. If that's okay, we can sort of you know um, play it out. Um, as I said, I didn't want to steal your thunder, but uh, it's great to be able to do your release. Talk to us a little bit about the strategy around um, the release date on fo uh, Feb five. How can people get hold of your music? Uh, where do they need to go? Um, I'll definitely be showcasing on my first show. It would be. Uh, I might even get you. Can we? Can we get you on the radio? Can I? Can I push you on the ra Put you on the radio up on Friday night, um, on our oh, smooth, smooth Friday radio show. Get in, come and say a couple. Absolutely. Of words. You know. Absolutely. The most important thing for us right now is, um, I mean, obviously we want to be embraced by radio and by the broadcasters. Talking about the streaming thing, which no matter how we feel about that. It's an important element. And what we would really love to have from our fans and from your listeners are pre-saves and pre-ads to Apple Music and to Spotify particularly. And if I can get you that link and you're willing to share that pre-save link, that would help us out a lot. And if you Absolutely. are kind enough to, <laughs> and crazy enough to wanna have me back, I will come back for sure. I love being with you. Uh, absolutely no 100 percent, man i mean love it on the smooth live show um you know and on radio it's about showcasing the music that you you know so um cleverly or creatively put together um when the stars go blue is going to be the first release which we're really excited about in feb 5 um get behind can i just say it to our viewers who come in and, and connect with us thank you so much for following us but follow spontaneous groove and combustion get behind the um warren and, and support him um, and I tell you what, your music, it's epic, man. Um, if I, you know, if I can tastefully, and forgive me if I sort of speak out of bounds here, but if I can tastefully say from the beginning of, you know, um, uh, from the songs that, you know, kicking it uh, to, you know, and going through that to double juices to what I'm hearing today, it's just beautifully created, I think, you know, and uh, it's really right. showing, you a, a showing me or us um, a flair and a style of uh, Warren A. Keller. And I'm, I'm really excited about um, the album. Um, for you know that you the soft title album that you will release um, coming up in a week or two, really excited. And, and let me let me just let me just say that, that that I personally am am excited by by you by broadcasters like you who have been loyal and supportive. We can't do anything. We can't hope to accomplish anything without people like Paul Toothpicks Corey at Smooth Jazz Melbourne and the many other friends that we've made on radio. So it's a it's a partnership and a very beautiful one. Absolutely. Yeah, no, 100%. 100%. Um, let's see, can I put this, uh, can we go to this track? Let me just find this track. I wanna find the track, I just, I've got it here, but I just need to uh, put it together for you. When the stars go blue, um, if you're okay and, uh, can we go with that? Can we play this? And we should be able to get some good audio on this. Might start it off. So this is um, this is going to be the, the first first release of the self titled uh, debut album. Uh, when the stars go blue, February five. Watch out for it. It's epic.
Yeah, welcome back uh, to the Smooth Live Show. And how awesome is that? That's the the brand new release when the stars go blue from the self-titled debut album, uh, Spontaneous Groove and Combustion, Warren Keller. Congratulations, man. Well done. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Lovely. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely lovely. Can I, I mean, and that's just the awesomeness of uh, your music, just how, how you know, creative to, to sound. It's just lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, looking forward to the successes, um, you know, to your success behind this track plus the other tracks, you know, that are on this album. I want to encourage people out there, um, you, I noticed you sent me the pre save link too, and I'll pop, pop that up on our um, website as well um, and on the socials. But get behind and pre save for this album. Um, it is absolutely going to be epic. Congratulations, man. Just sensational. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. We will see. We've been pleasantly and amazingly surprised all the way. So uh, hopefully the, the train keeps a roll and we'll see. It, ne- it won't stop, let me tell you. you. You've done really well. And I'm so honoured to be able to um, have that uh, opportunity to release that, to play the release of your new, um, of this new track, uh, When the Stars Go Blue. Um, lovely. And big hi and big thanks to uh, Evan again for listening from Tasmania. So, uh, you know, we've got uh, from all sorts of the world, you know, LA, we've got Tasmania. And if you don't know where Tasmania is, it's just, well, they say it's just down below uh, here of Australia, but uh, yeah, so the world. <laughs> Thanks, Evan, um, and uh, looking forward to, to lots coming from Tassie yeah. as well. Uh, Evan so- is uh, Evan's also another uh, very talented saxophonist who's uh, cooking up cooking up an album as well. And Paul actually introduced us, and we've become rather good friends. So it's nice to be able to grow the the friend base in Oz. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure when things come to um, or you know sort of uh, re set itself uh, to some what that new normal looks like and we have an opportunity to travel again um, you know you can come out to uh, to Australia or to Tassie come and see us in Melbourne town would you like that <laughs> that would be pretty crazy how let me tell you so um, obviously release Feb 5 just for if you just joined us here um, on the smooth live show spontaneous groove and combustion new album uh, well the debut album I should say uh, is released we're excited about that and uh, it's big thanks to uh, the comments there from Evan, uh, the bottom of the end of the world, he says, and uh, ditto to that. So looking forward to that. Um, I wanted to ask you, just been thinking once I started the show with you today, Evan, um, today, sure. Warren, <laughs> um, vocal. So, yeah, you do sing. Can we expect a, um, a some vocal smooth uh, work in, in the next you know year or two? Not an impossibility. There's a, there's a new one uh, called Love Train, uh, but as in T-R-A-N-E, as in John Coltrane. Okay. And that's actually started out to be a vocal, uh, kind of playing off some of his biggest titles. Uh, um, but it wound up to be an instrumental. I don't know, you know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Could happen. Could happen. We'll, we'll just be hoping that it does happen, mate, because I think I'd love to hear <laughs> your vocal bit. <laughs> Maybe a bit I'll of keep, scat. I'll keep that under advisement. <laughs> Got to keep my man uh, happy. <laughs> keep the Aussies happy, mate. You know what the old saying is: keep the Aussies happy. But, right. Uh, be sure to you know be sure to keep looking out for us here in the Smooth Live Show. It's great having you here. I wanted just to um, put out the the uh, quote for um, the self-titled album. Released Feb 5, Spontaneous Groove and Combustion. We're really excited about seven new tracks. Uh, when the Stars Go Blue, um, you can check us out here and listen to um, our show again and you'll, you'll hear it live. Um, I'm going to drop the link there for the pre-saves. Get behind and support this great artist, uh, Warren A. Keller, from the US um, and uh, certainly well-deserved um, musician. Um, seven great new tracks, as I mentioned, and looking forward to hearing a lot more about it. Um, if you jump on to uh, the podcast for the Smooth Live Radio Show on Fridays, um, I'll, I'll have a copy of that coming soon uh, with um, in, introducing um, When the Stars Go Blue on Feb 5 because that's when the show kicks off for this year, for 2021. But we're really excited to have you again. Um, what's what's planned for the rest of the evening for you, uh, Warren? Just to chill a little, out a bit. Uh, a, little bit of telly with, a little bit of telly with the wife probably. Kick back and watch something on Roku streaming. We, um I think we finished up 
couple of things. Uh, so we're going to have to pick something new. But yeah, a little downtime with Christine. And uh, it's snowing here. And uh, it's been wow. snowing for several days. So yeah. So what sort of, what sort of temperature? Will, uh, what temperature is? Well, uh, I, am, I, am centigrade, I am a centigrade moron. So I'm going to give it to you in, in Fahrenheit. We, we got us on Christmas night, we got as cold as 11 degrees Fahrenheit, but typically we're more in the uh, mid 20s to low 30s on a real wintry day. But that doesn't mean it doesn't get 40s and 50s uh, during the days. And, and it's fine. West Virginia is funny. You know, we'll get kind of decent snows, but that grass is still living and green and alive a lot underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, look, it is cool. It is cold. I've uh, experienced some of the snow in the US when I've come over um, there. But, uh, you yeah, know, um, keep warm, my friend. Keep warm. Uh, check out the socials at Spontaneous Grooving on uh, the Instagram. Um, Facebook, you've got Spontaneous Grooving Combustion. And also the Twitter. Yeah, which underscore GC. We sure would appreciate some likes and some follows. There's a YouTube channel. I am pressing a limited run of CDs. Most of those will go to broadcast and for reviews. But if you're stateside or not too far away and you want to drop me an email through the website, there will probably be a few CDs left and I'll sign you a copy. Good on you. That's awesome. And one last question before we let you go, Warren. Um, can we, we expect potential uh, show this year? Um, in the US or you know, like in your hometown, you're going to do any sort of live gigs? Are you planning or thinking about the possibility of that? Yeah, no, unfortunately, you know, we're so we're so studio bound um, and yeah. really difficult to 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 both have the have the uh, privilege of having a band to play with and rehearsing and going out and playing. Um, just going to be really difficult. I would have a, a desire that when things come back to normal to do a short set, perhaps opening for a larger artist out on the West Coast for smoothjazz.com. That's something that I've got in my mind. I'd love to see that happen. But uh, for the time being, the studio is uh, where the right. magic uh, happens. Fantastic. Well, congratulations again, Warren A. Keller from Spontaneous Thank Group. Thank you. Where right. excited about the self-titled debut album, um, and looking forward to hearing some great, great stories um, and and you know news about that. When the stars go blue is is the new release. We've you've heard it live here on the Smooth Live Show. Thank you so much. Um, and, Thank you uh, too. I look Thanks. forward to speaking to you very, very soon. So we'll uh, we'll see you see you soon. Huh? Awesome, absolutely. Good on you, mate. Thank you again. All right, well, uh, look forward to seeing our, our uh, viewers next time here on the Smooth Live Show. Um, as, uh, as Make sure you subscribe and, and click on the notifications bell there just to keep up to date with who's coming on and what's going on. But we're really privileged again to have Warren Keller uh, with us today. So uh, take care, my friend. And we'll, and the, the, the best of luck. Thank you, sir.